We saving some coin. We saving some coin. I need to cover. Yes, I got my little, you know. I know the plane. Deep land, deep land. I'm not a fortune teller, okay? Hi, beauties and girls. Welcome back for another video. It is Melissa Q. Welcome. And today's video, we are getting into volume three of things I no longer buy to save $10,000. I am reaching that goal. I know this is an update, but I wanted to let you guys know I am very, very close to my goal. I'm over half, and I think I have until like about September that I'm giving myself. So I am saving, and I'm so excited because I'm paying off things. And when I say save, ten thousand dollars it is money that i would have spent on something else but instead i am investing in myself and and paying off things going on trips with my family and yeah so i highly encourage you guys to set a goal because you know if you don't set a goal it's very hard to maintain a course and actually hit that goal so that's just my two cents and i will put it in the description box how close i am if you guys want to know but in this video i am collabing with my girl kiko beauty yes that is my girl y'all i absolutely love her channel if you have not checked her out her name is marguerite i absolutely love her i fell in love with her channel i love everything about her and she is my atl sis okay i cannot believe Believe that we have not collabed yet and I was like girl have we collabed and she was like no we haven't collabed on anything so I was like girl let's do something and so she was like she was totally down for it. she was like I know you know you down you know you have a ride or die in your corner when she's down for whatever you know what I mean so today's video is 10 things we no longer buy don't forget to check out her 10 things after this video but I'm gonna go ahead and get into mine because I have a few to talk about so the first thing that I no longer buy you guys to save ten thousand dollars I don't buy stilettos and when I say stilettos like <sighs> four inch heels I used to be I used to, girl I am a shoe lover I don't know comment down below and put a shoe emoji if you are a shoe lover but I am a shoe lover you guys and let me know if that's one of the videos that you maybe want to see is like random things because I absolutely I just bought some shoes I actually bought like maybe four five maybe six pairs of shoes just because I y'all after having kids you fit your foot changes okay let's just put it like that your foot changes I did buy a couple of pair of shoes let me know and I can do that maybe I'll put it on my vlog channel but comment down below let me know if you want to see that I am over that heel and I need to be able to hold my child if I need to or you know in my when you're in mommy mode you think about things a little bit differently and I need to be able to walk comfortably it's about comfort these days a couple of these you're going to notice that comfort is a one and then we look cute okay so we comfort first and then cuteness at events you stand for a long period of time nobody has time for not looking cute and having some comfort so enough said I think I stayed too long on that one I think that one's kind of self-explanatory moving on number two I told y'all we were going to talk about comfort right under wire bras I don't buy them anymore I can't I can't you feel all congested you feel like you know you, you, I, I used to work for Victoria's Secret the worst thing is to have a bra choke you out you know you we don't want the chesticle to be you know choked out we just can't have it oh my goodness underwear bras I can't do it anymore I cannot do it especially when it starts to dig in y'all know Mm, I know I'm testifying preach girl yes we can't have it okay, so number three the thing that I no longer buy I don't buy full coverage mat why would I you know what I feel like when you learn your beauty aesthetic you just quit buying things that you know that you know it's like oh let me try it I'm probably going to be disappointed sometimes it does work out and it's not really a mat it's a demi mat that maybe looks satin on you that a company has called or a brand has called matte but y'all I cannot do like a full matte beat number one because I have dry skin so I don't want to look like you know the witch on Snow White I just can't do it anymore so I want to save quaint so I like luminous natural you know sometimes I do like sheer 
and I believe that's because I've taken care of my skin matte I don't need the matte full coverage look no 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 and a lot of times I end up mixing that product anyway so I don't take the full potency of that no we can't do it anymore I say my point and I don't mess with full matte coverage I said that I don't like full coverage matte well I don't like sheer coverage of a concealer I can't take it I have dark circles I need to cover these things I need to be able to cover those dark circles y'all and I love full coverage comment down below let me know if you want to see all of my full coverage concealers that will cover your dark circle sins okay but I I can't do a sheer concealer I need to have some coverage and it's so funny that I can do sheer here but full coverage here but there's a way that shears it out and makes it look natural but I need to be able to cover my dark circles I do not like sheer coverage in my concealer can't do it the next thing that I have done to save ten thousand dollars is like I think I only go like once or twice a year to go get my brows done y'all brows take forever to grow back like a full brow you know what I mean after you've like plucked and you've like stripped away all of that and I'm allergic to a lot of the waxes anyway I've learned to do them myself and so even when I need a little bit of shaping just a little bit I want to keep the full structure of my brow but I don't let a lot of people fool with my brows y'all so I have cut back a whole lot and getting brows done throughout the year okay so I know some of y'all won't maybe come for me when I say this but y'all I I have decided that I'm just not gonna do brow products anymore once I've run out of the brow products that I have and I'm going to come in with a video about that because brow products from the drugstore I just I found that a lot of the higher end brow products work well for me. The pigment is amazing. It's long lasting. I know there's some other ones that are good, but I tend to even, they last longer for me. And there's a whole method to that. And I'll talk about that in another video because y'all need to know about this. And you know, it's really good information so you can make a good decision. Whether you still wanna take, you know, use drugstore brow products, but I've just learned that higher end brow products, my brows is a big thing. I may not wear makeup, but I will have brows on. And it makes a world of difference to the structure and the elegance and you still want to look natural but having a structured brow is everything you know what I mean but I just feel, I feel like that is one way I'm going to invest especially because I've cut back y'all know how I am when I cut back and going to the salon or cut going to the professional and I want to be the professional I want to use professional products because they do perform differently for me so I'm just saying but yeah brow products from the drugstore I no longer buy and once I'm done with the ones that I have I'm probably not gonna buy anymore but those things I no longer buy I know they're easy to grab but there's a method method behind that and I'll get into that a little bit later okay okay so we're on number seven the thing that I no longer buy uncomfortable liquid lipsticks do, do I okay I already don't want to look old. I'm using hyaluronic acid, right? Why do we like the old crackly? I, I, I'm not going to suffer because the, the lipstick is cute. Oh, the liquid lipstick is cute. The, co the color is pretty. I'm not going to do it. I'm not, I'm not going to have like the inner rim, y'all knowing and like it, it just looks crazy, right? I love a comfortable matte and it does not have to be expensive. NYX has some amazing soft matte cream lip uh, lipsticks. Before there was a liquid lipstick, there was NYX soft matte cream. You know what I mean? And that is a matte that's comfortable. I'm over the uncomfortable dryness of a liquid lipstick. I can't do it. There are too many brands. So, uh, a couple of my favorites that have really good comfortable mattes. Smashbox. Oh my goodness. They have such amazing liquid lipsticks Giorgio Armani I just found one that I absolutely love and it's a perfect nude for me another one dose of colors has amazing liquid lipsticks that are comfortable and also Ofra so those are a couple of ones that I have found Colourpop changed their formulation which I feel like it's a it's a lot more comfortable than it was before but I still have some favorites 
that are super comfortable and you forget that they're on your lips until you like look in the mirror and you're like oh my god the color is still on and you don't get that inner rim situation going on you know what i mean so unco uncomfortable liquid lipsticks we uh, there are no more okay did a huge lip declutter and i think i'm gonna put it on my second channel this channel i think my declutterings are just gonna go over there because i want to put different content here on this channel but anyway you're gonna see that i went over i had over 200 lip uh 200 lip products and a lot of the liquid lipsticks went so uncomfortable liquid lipsticks gotta go we're on to number eight now let's go ahead and talk about natural hair and this is only a natural hair because with when i wear my hair straight i do tend to use this product but with my natural hair i don't buy regular conditioners like the rinse out conditioners i don't buy them anymore to rinse out of my hair I just tend to get a really good deep conditioner that has amazing slip. I use the Camille Rose penetrating, the coconut water penetrating hair treatment. Amazing, amazing for slip. It's great for deep conditioning. Detangling is amazing. It's a multi-purpose product. I love it. But rinse out conditioners, I feel like they are, it to me, it's needless money that doesn't need to be spent. Um, I could use a co-wash, but I really don't co-wash. I tend to use a poo, a no poo, a shampoo because I have product buildup. So uh, conditioners for my natural hair, I really don't. That's another thing. I just invest in my deep conditioners and really that's how I get plush, juicy, moisturized hair because I use a deep conditioner every week. So conditioners are out Okay, so in palettes that are just vibrant only. I tend not to gravitate towards those. Although I'm a makeup artist, I still like to have transition shades. I'm one of those that like pops of color in a palette. If I am going to have all pops of colors, you know the chocolate bar palette I purchased. I have not done a review or anything on that just yet, but I absolutely love that product because it has pops of color and transition and you can do a full look with it. I don't tend to gravitate towards those because I feel like there are very far and in between times when I need a palette like that. So that's needless money that I don't have to spend. If I want a pop of color, I can definitely take a, a palette like Juvia's Place, the Masquerade palette, the Sahara 2 palette. Actually, Juvia's Place has a lot of great palettes that have great transition shades and have pops of colors. I need to have the combination and not just be exclusive to a color palette. If I were going to do that, it probably would be like the Huda Beauty, the small, the mini palettes that she has. I probably just would take that and that's it. But to just constantly get vibrant palettes, I no longer buy those, so yeah. So the last thing, that I no longer buy. This is a big one, you guys. I no longer buy clothes that does not fit my body type. I have an apple shaped. Finally, I realized this. I went on to Naturally Fashionable. Is it Naturally Fashionable's, uh, her channel? And she was talking about body types. And I finally embraced the fact that I, you know, there are certain things I don't like about my body. And it's definitely my midsection. Buying clothes based upon your body shape helped me out so much in knowing how to style my clothes. And so I just, why would I buy clothes for an hourglass and I'll never wear them? I wouldn't feel good about fitting the clothes. Even when I was small, I still had the same body shape. So it, whether you're large or small, yes, you can shape your body, but usually you have that particular body shape. And knowing my body shape is an apple definitely helped me pick out clothes for myself and not choose other body types that are flattering. Clothes that are flattering to other body types, it allowed me to avoid those. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so fun doing this and it actually helps me have a list consciously of what I do not buy anymore. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment down below and let me know what you guys are no longer buying and saving some coin. Don't forget to head on over to Kiko Beauty's channel. You will love her. So go ahead and subscribe and let her know that I sent you. You're going to love her channel I, she has she is a plethora of information you're gonna love her channel thanks so much for watching please subscribe if you hadn't already and i'll see beautiful you in the next video bye guys